to see the woman standing right outside my passenger side window, giving me Are the same stare she had given me before. What's up, everybody? My name is Johnny, and welcome to Llama Arts Reaction again. Okay, I liked the first one we did, so I said, you know what? We're gonna do it again, and this time we're gonna make it four. Four animated stories. Let's go ahead and just jump in. We're gonna do three pizza. Uh, what was it? Pizza delivery stories. This happened four years ago when I was still in high school. Okay. I was told to do my last delivery no of my shift. Just water. I got in my car, which was a 1999 well, Camry, perfect for delivering Bit pizzas. Like this. I GPSed the address on my phone. Fix there you go. I live upstate in the country, so all pizza deliveries were long drives. Huh? I remember the sun was starting to set, so it was probably around 7 o'clock. Joy. I'd say after a good 15 minutes of driving through the foresty dirt roads, my GPS said I had arrived. Uh huh? It was an old little cottage-like house made almost entirely of wood. It was sitting all by itself in the middle of absolutely nothing but forest. Yeah, you don't go near that. The lawn was Period. completely unkept, as the grass was almost at knee height. Fix you again. I, I was like used how you to this look. kind of thing, so I didn't think much of it. I took the pizza to the front door. There was no doorbell, so I knocked loudly on the door. With a finger? Within ten seconds, I heard the sound of footsteps hitting wood on the inside of the house. The footsteps made it to the door and stopped. I started to feel uneasy. Uh -huh. I got the feeling that I was being watched. Well, for sure, there's a freaking eye hole right there. That's when I noticed there was a peephole in the door. It's the pizza guy, I called out. I heard a low, harsh sounding voice on the other side of the door telling me to bring the pizza I out. Like back. this, man. It's getting. Came in I didn't like the idea of going back there. Something didn't seem right. That's when. Are you sure, sir? I called out. Get the tip. He didn't Bounce answer my out. question. Get back to your car. The sound Leave. of footsteps didn't move away from the door. So I had the feeling he was still watching me. I almost I, I, I found myself walking right back there. to my car, but I you decided know? I didn't I want any trouble with my I boss. Been, I out there. The last time I brought a pizza back, he gave me attitude. So I reluctantly walked through the uncut grass and around the small house oh to my the back. Gosh. Sorry, it's probably dark I remember now. there was a shed and a little patio back there. In the patio, there was a table with four chairs surrounding it. Uh -huh. In one of the chairs facing away from me, I saw the head of somebody sitting in the seat. No I began way. walking over and said, excuse me, but the person didn't even move an it's inch. It's just a head, isn't it? Excuse me, I said again louder. Then from behind I have me, I heard, psst, over here. I turned around to see a man poking his head out from the corner of the house, looking you? at me with a crazed smile. Come over here, I want to show you something. Absolutely not! I freaked out, turned around, and ran around the house in the opposite direction. <laughs> Look at the little chick car, right there! For some reason, no. still holding the pizza. Absolutely in. not! I got in my car, started it, and got away from there. No On my way back to way. the pizzeria, I pulled over to the side of the road and called the police. Eventually, I was informed that there was no sign of anybody having been in that house for a long time. I was quit my ghost? delivery job a few days after that. Was that ghost? I have no idea what would have happened to me had I gone up to that man, but to this day, I still wish I had just turned my head to see who or what was sitting in that patio chair. Right? Dude, if you had opened that or like turned it around and been some dead dude, I would have flipped. Flipped. We get it, you're creepy. Get out of here, coach. But poke your eyes out. Can't blink, so you got, you just gotta take it, you know. All right, we got episode one. Now we go to number two. I'm talking about. All right, late night delivery. Oh, I like I'll it. I'll never forget this night. Okay. The pizza place I worked at was about to close, and I was getting ready to go home. Yeah. When the phone rang. Okay. I was working the counter alone that night, so I was taking calls. I picked up the phone. Whoa, 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 whoa. There was Why do they have a gold phone? They have a gold phone. These dudes have so much money, dude. Complete silence. So I hung up. Okay. About a minute later, the phone rings again. again. So I pick up again. Still silence. I was about to hang up again no, when this I heard is the Patrick. very weak and cold voice of an old woman on the other end. She said she wanted a regular pie delivered. I remained polite on the phone, but on the inside I was screaming. I just wanted to get home and end my shift. 100%. I get how that feels. I called out to my boss that somebody home, is so requesting a delivery. I don't have that, but I used to. He told me I had to go. I was upset at first, I, a lot of people have that, I realized you know? it's another tip, they go and home. the old ones usually tip the most, so 
I decided it was okay. My friend did this. I took down the address and told her it would be there soon. He liked it. But she had a lot already of money, hung up. I thought that was rude, but I ignored it and yelled to the chef that I needed one regular. Okay. My boss told me to just go home after the delivery as the yeah, place would be closed. Yeah, boy. So a little before 10 o'clock, I got, I got in my car and put coming, the address you know? into my GPS. The house was seven miles away. It's not bad. The GPS took me to the quiet side of town. Of course. Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, I arrived to the house. Course. It was a small, one-floor house on a very quiet and empty block. I took the pizza and walked up to the door and rang the door all of it? Whoa, 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 whoa. We're there backing up. There were no lights up. on in the house. We're backing up, dude. There were no lights on. What is this? If I pull up to a house and they got blood on the doorbell, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hitting the button. I'm leaving. I'm getting back in my car and I'm going home. I'm out. I'm not doing this. I don't get paid enough to deal with this blood stuff, you know? There were no lights on in the house. I can see the person right there. I hoped that she hadn't given me the wrong address. I rang the doorbell again. There was still no answer. I was about to give up when I turned my head and saw somebody standing at the window. Absolutely not! I got a little freaked out and backed up at first, but I eventually got closer to the window to see the person. It was an old woman, probably in her late 70s. She was just staring at me with a blank expression. Page I yelled to her through the glass that I had her pizza. She didn't react to what I said, so I screamed it louder. A big smile ran across her face. Not a pleasant, genuine smile. He's deranged, dude. It was a smile that sent chills down my spine. I still remember that exact face she made through the window. Ah. Uh, I decided that I was freaked out enough and got back to my car and set the pizza in the passenger I'll, seat. I would took that pizza home, dude. I had to dude. text my boss about this. Period. I shot him a quick text and started my car. I want to get the home. hell away. I looked to my right to get one more look. To see the woman standing right outside my passenger side window. Giving me Are the same you stare kidding me? Before. I put my car in drive. Get your witch having ass out of my freaking car! You're steaming up the windows with your freaking gross mouth! Ah! Put it down the street, not looking back. Don't blame me, my guy. My Go home with that pizza. Get a little black ops in again. you. Little apex, you know? Oh my god. Absolutely not. Okay. That's number two. Yeah, out of here. Here's number three. This was six minutes. Six minutes of pizza stories or horror stories. Okay. And these give me the heebie-jeebies. Anybody else? I was else? out doing a delivery one late night. It was probably the longest drive I'd have ever taken for a pizza delivery. Mm -hmm. From the pizza place I worked at, it was a 20-minute drive, which isn't too crazy out where I live. Plus, they ordered four large pies, so Ooh, I figured four? there was a party, and I would get a much bigger tip. Fuck yes, man! Like, give me Navigating that money, boy. Navigating the at night was worth always it. annoying, though. I pulled up to the given he has address. flames on his car. It was some old, sketchy-looking building, <sighs> literally right. in the middle. So we've already went through two of these stories, and every house we went to has been creepy. So scenario. You're doing this pizza stuff. You're going up, you're skirting, skirting across town. You pull up and you see this old house. You have four pies or pizzas. What do you do? Do you go for it? Or do you say, nah? Or do you go for it and then leave right after if you know something crazy? If, that, if, I, if I knock and the door goes <laughs> and opens by itself, I'm doing this and I'm out. I'm not, I'm not doing it. You know what I'm saying? In the middle of a forest clearing. Not doing there it. There were no cars parked anywhere or any lights on. I put my car in park. Oh, and I'm watching that window boss. right there. Ugh. I asked him to reread the address at least three times to make sure I typed it in right, but that checked out. I could tell he was in oh, a really look, look bitchy at the window, mood. Look at the window. Look at the window. He told me to at least knock on the door and check it out. He that window is going to be mad if we dude right there. One pie, but I was afraid of what he would do if I brought back four. I was insanely unnerved, but got out anyway. And I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it, dude. Building. There was no doorbell, so I just knocked really hard. Oh, man. Absolutely not. Nope. I heard nothing and didn't really expect to hear anything. I was extremely disappointed. Uh -uh. Not because nobody answered the door, but because I was realizing that it was all a waste of time and gas. This window is really I sus for now. I knocked one more time out of desperation. 
And then began to hear some kind of rustling Help. noises from inside of the building. I knocked again and yelled that I was the pizza guy. Pizza! There was silence now. And like, I felt a bit more uncomfortable. Here's the thing, right? Than There's before. people out there that probably do this but stuff. Before I could turn around, and then they kill. I noticed something at the window. There was oh! someone looking oh! through the window. I couldn't tell if it was a man or a woman. All I noticed were their eyes. No! Their eyes were open wider than I knew possible. Staring That's a big ass eyes, dude. At me. I was disturbed enough by this and dropped the pizzas and, and ran got back the, to my car. Oh, the fast and furious out there. The shitty thing wouldn't start until turning the key for the third time. Absolutely. I drove not. off the grass and back onto the dirt road. But I felt the car rocking about, shaking and bumping. Something wasn't right. What's wrong? I didn't make it far from the building before I started hearing a sharp scraping sound coming from outside. There was so much resistance that I couldn't even drive. They freaking the car came to a stop. They have like I a got out of they the have car a chain? to check what the hell was wrong. A chill ran up my spine as I began to feel like my heart was constantly skipping beats. Why? My tires had been slashed. They slashed his tires off the rim. Absolutely not. not. Just the front though. All four tires were slashed. I realized somebody did this when I was knocking on the door to that building. Instead of running, I got back in the car and locked the doors. I was so close to that building, I could practically see it from where I was, if it weren't for the trees blocking the oh view. Oh my god. I dialed 911 and explained everything to the operator. She told me the cops would be over as soon as possible and that I need to stay hidden. 30 minutes. I asked her if it was advisable to stay in the car or run, and she told me it would be best to stay in the car with the door locked. She asked Skadoosh. me to scan the line Break the until window. the cops arrived. My whole body was shaking. Listen, I'm, going, I'm going to full beast in mode, you know? I'm going to full beast mode. Dark, seemingly endless forest. I'm going full beast I mode. Hats backwards, I'm over here like this. There. Come at me. I was not comfortable with sitting in that car so close to whoever did this. The next part, though, is what utterly destroyed Stop me. Stop it. It still shakes me Stop to it. this day. And I hope nobody ever has to experience this kind they of thing. They broke fear. the glass and took your ass. As I was scanning all the windows, making sure nobody was outside, I looked in the rearview mirror, and there was the same person. Oh, the same person my God. saw that window. Eyes open wider than ever. Of course. I could see now that it was a woman, and I could ever so slightly see a smile begin to spread across her face. <sighs> I opened my door and full on sprinted into the woods, not caring how much noise Listen! I made. I'm I ran freaking until I was out of breath. Which didn't her and I dumb behind a giant here. log on the ground. I tried to cover my loud breathing with my hands as I waited and waited I'm just, for what I'm felt putting like that hours big old python on on her I face. I heard sirens in the distance. You know? Period. I gathered up all the stamina I had left to run all the way back. That's in the my instinct, of the man. Dirt road. Like if I see Eventually, some weird stuff, the glowing red and blue you got, you have the option view, to come at me and I'd never or leave. And if you life. come at me, listen. They were parked in front of my car. I'm not saying the strongest, lights. but I'm gonna do some shit. I'm gonna do some damage like on you. Lunatic to help me. I <laughs> fell to the floor <laughs> and started <laughs> to <laughs> gain, <laughs> almost throwing up from running so much. They picked me up and began to question me, to which I explained everything to the best of my ability. One of the two cars drove over to the building, yeah, see, and I the couldn't. two officers began to search the building. Couldn't imagine being a police officer, they came back man. with nothing, Honestly. except for a couple of spiky objects. These objects were exactly the same as the ones used to slash my tires. The cops guessed that it was some kind of sick, demented couple, being that I saw the woman, but unfortunately they were never found. Of course. And that still kills me to this day. Of course. I obviously quit my job right after of that course. and started working at a local grocery store. Yeah. I know that I'll never forget seeing that woman at the back of my car. That's nightmare fuel, dude. Seriously. Oh, she pop did you see her pop up like that? Dude, come on. Watch right there. The right 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 underneath the O of uh the deli. Like the one the word before the deli. Ed Ederson?
You see it? You see her coming? No! All right. This, what was this, what's this called? A Disturbing True Snapchat Story 2. Animated. Six million views. Two minutes and 30 seconds. This is a short but terrifying story of something that happened when I was Snapchatting a friend. Okay. I'm pretty young. I'm only 13, 13. Still in middle school. I get it. A girl I really liked had just recently started snapping me. We had Snapchat pictures, back in that day. And we started messaging each other. What is this guy eating? Is it a pickle with ketchup on a bun? That's disgusting. A few nights. One night when I was watching TV, she He's sent me a snap of his, herself his laying face. in her bed without a caption. That's the girl. I sent a message get saying what's thing. up. She sent another identical picture. This time with a caption saying, not much, you? Okay. She set the timer to 10 seconds, so it gave me plenty of time so to analyze the it. picture, including her bedroom in the background, She's and the dark outline at everything. of the person standing by her window. Oh, God. I would have screenshot it and then a sent it to her. Message saying, you know what I'm saying? Is that your brother by the window? She definitely understand. She sent another identical snap, this time captioned, what do you mean? In this picture, the figure at the window was closer. Listen. And I could see if I had that I don't care if I'm 13 or not. I'm not trying to be cool, right? If I see a, a chick she's taking a selfie and there's a dude behind her I'm just gonna screenshot it and then send it to her and be like there's a dude behind you. You need to get out And she'd be like, oh, okay, I get it. the glass. I Closed the snap before the timer even ran out so I could tell her quicker. I said there's somebody at your window turn around She opened my snap almost immediately, right? And then I didn't hear from her again on the app. I grew more and more worried as the minutes passed. Yeah, you need to, uh... I texted her a few times to no avail. I tried calling her a few times to no avail as well. I didn't know her house phone number, otherwise I would have called her parents. Oh, she just like run across the street. It wasn't until midnight when I was already laying in bed that she finally texted me back. She explained the whole situation. As soon as she looked at her window and saw the person standing there, she screamed. And that caused the person, who turned out to be a 20-something-year-old man, to open the window and jump into the room. This man was just- he said, nah, don't care. Open that window and Wesley sniped into the freaking house. From there, she ran to her parents' room and woke her dad, who went to her room to find nothing but what? an open window. It wasn't exactly a personal story of mine, but it freaks me out nonetheless, knowing that the only thing that saved my friend from whatever could have happened was the fact that I was able to see the window through her selfies, unbeknownst to the creeper at her window. What? Get out of here with that, dude. Alright, everybody, this was the Llama Axe. Llama Axe. Alright, everybody, this was Llama Arts Reaction. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you do the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. As always, guys, my name is Johnny, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Fuck off, day. I'll show enough. Shine, rain, shine, no giving up. Fuck her off, day, nigga, no giving up. Rain, shine, rain, shine, I'm showing up. Two things that I can't do. Fuck up and cancel. I water the bamboo. Simple like cancel. Don't even keep track now. Just rack up the reps. I'm more than a man now. I'm not like the rest. Fuck her off, day, I'm showing up. Rain shine, rain shine, don't give enough. Fuck her off, babe, nigga.